Now, Tony, I've just watched you do a great presentation of your time management session based on CD numbers what? Five. Five. And how did that go, that presentation? Um, I think it was very well received. Um, I enjoyed doing it. And... Um I think the class enjoyed it. I, mean, I think you did a marvellous job. Some of the way you, not only that, the way you used PowerPoint was terrific as well. But the team learning system, how's it gone in your office um, in terms of the impact, the value it's had uh, with the team? Um, we like reviewing the um, CDs, and as each person's done the review of their CD, they've got bigger and better. That's why my PowerPoint was quite an intense one. Um, but it's also quite a good learning tool. You listen, you pick things up. Um, showing people in this kind of forum um, on a PowerPoint is maybe a bit nicer than just seeing there telling them. So um, makes it a bit fun. There was a couple of funny bits in there. So um, yeah, I think that concretes the thinking and concretes the learning in a bit more as well. And the other thing is, we say if you have to teach it, then you learn it way better yourself anyway, don't you? Well, I know this verbatim and I work perf perfect now, so yes, it's sort of installed into my daily routine now. So. And talking of that, we just had a, did our Einstein uh, session where we say life's like riding a bicycle. If you're not moving forward, you'll probably fall off. So we've got people saying, based on the last session where we did stuff on time management, um, there was a whole lot of things I heard you talking about in the group just then, where, like things like red flags. What are some of the actions people have taken based on that last session on time management you just heard them talking about? Um, Prioritise and work out where things fit into your day. The red flag or, you know, any colour flag, you then can go back to it. Sometimes we get lots of emails throughout the day. You sort of skim them, you don't read them properly if mm. it's... Um, not important to what you're doing. So you could flag that with a yellow flag and then maybe go back and reread. You know, you've got to look at that one more closely. And um, red flags, priority. So if you need to get that thing done today, red flag it on the computer so you know that needs to be done and then clear the red flag. You know, at the end of the day, hopefully you've got no red flags left. Yep. Um, yeah, so that's some of the things we've learned. And the territory organiser people are using very well also, it seems, or at least that's a good tool to help them stay focused? Um, territory organiser is good because you've got to actually finish filling it out. Um, there's, uh, like you can go back of two or three weeks, um, you have to have a conclusion to the piece that you've put in there. So your conclusion is either booked, um, not booked, uh, so it shows you follow up and they're highlighted in red. So you would go back and look and finish something that hadn't been finished. So yes, that's a good tool as well. Great. You're a SARS legend work. Well done. Thanks, Tony. Thank you.